Yo, what's going on guys? It's Wolves, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Tips and Tricks. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so for the first tip, I'm going to be showing you guys another filter. If we come over here to Image Adjustments, HDNR Toning, uh, you just want to click Yes, it'll flatten everything. And you'll see this pop-up menu. Now, you can actually do a lot of really cool things with this. Now, this is one of those filters that is kind of excessive and it's going to change your whole design. So, you know, just kind of be aware of that. But you can do a lot of really cool things to this. It just kind of gives you some uh, lighting options. And uh, it's got a bunch of just CC things, uh, things I have no clue what they do. Uh, but if you mess around with this, you can find some really cool filters and effects. Uh, you know, like you can do some VHS effects in here. Uh, you can just do a bunch of cool things to this. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next tip. All right, so for the next tip, it's gonna be kind of the same thing. If we come up here to image, adjustments, uh, shadow and highlights. Uh, again, it's kind of the same thing as what I showed you guys in the last one, but it'll, but it kind of gives you some more options just with shading, coloring. So, uh, and I know I'm not going too in depth with this cause to be honest, I don't know what half this stuff does. Um, but if you just mess around with it, you can find some really cool filters. Uh, so yeah, so let's move on to the next tip. All right, so for the next tip, we're gonna be showing you guys a kind of a universal um, thing, but I'm sure a lot of you guys don't know about this. So if we come over here to filter, you go to noise, you click on median. It's kind of the same thing back to, I think it was the first episode where I showed you guys the smart blur. It's kind of the same thing as that, um, but a little heavier. And again, it's just kind of like an oil paint topaz hybrid. Uh, it's a little more excessive, uh, but this is definitely one of those things that can make your work look really cool if you do it right. Obviously here I already have my header RGB so it doesn't look as cool, but this is definitely something that you can mess around with and get some really cool looking effects. Uh, but anyway guys, thanks for watching. 